Hamilton stirring the pot, trying to get me to talk shit. Hamilton, are you there? Can, is, is he available to explain himself or not? Yeah, I'm here, Mike. What's up? Hey, what's up, Hamilton? Well, you tell me. Right, so you put in the notes, Big John McCarthy and Josh Thompson. Uh, I don't even know what their podcast is called. Very, very low on the pecking order. Don't subscribe, guys. Don't watch their podcast. But tell us what was going on. Oh, they talk shit on the podcast specifically. This, is this is, is there a podcast war of brewing? Uh, there's, a, there's two motherfuckers going to get knocked out of brewing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, so Big John McCarthy was breaking down the fight, and they had an issue with uh, how a lot of the judging uh, shook out at UFC Apex 3. Uh, they said, you know, similar to what you guys have said before about getting guys down to watch uh, fights and, and, and you know, doing like a, an overhaul of how the judging works. He also said, uh, you know, two guys who definitely need to sit down and learn how to score a fight, have no clue how to judge, would be Dominic Cruz and Michael Bisping because those guys had no clue what was going on. Wow. Mm. This is Big John or, or Big Josh John. Thompson? Josh Thompson. Big John. And Josh Thompson, recognizing the full par that the great Big John was doing, was like, whoa, he distanced himself pretty quick. He was socially really distancing. Whoa. He, it, yeah, he's it, pulling a real L.A. comic move, as they say. Well, really just himself from the problem. <laughs> I don't even know him. I don't even know him. I mean, yes, I toured with him 14 years ago. But other than that, I, once? I, yeah, what's his name again? What's his name? <laughs> yeah, I have met him. Um, no. So, John, listen, John McCarthy, I, I, big John McCarthy, legend of the game? Maybe not. He's a referee, but, you know, I, I like John. John's a great guy. Uh, I always found him to be a good human being and stuff, so I'm, I'm not going to bust his balls too much. Listen, there's a little bit of confusion. Number one, you're fucking Bellator, guys. Talk about fucking Bellator. Leave the big league stuff to the UFC, guys, okay? We'll leave it yeah, at that. That is true. You know, discuss Bellator, okay? That discuss the second We don't, we don't talk about Bellator. We don't discuss Bellator, okay? Really? They've got nothing more to talk about, though. Bellator can't put shows on right now. Uh, and again, joke. But um, no, so here's what they're saying. Bilal Muhammad won the first round. Bahal, Bilal Muhammad won the second round. And they're saying that I thought that Bilal possibly could have won the third round because he took Lyman Good down and took his back. Well, no, that is not what me and Dominic Cruz were saying. What we actually was saying, and I don't know because I haven't watched the commentary back. Maybe I misspoke and delivered the wrong message. But in my mind, this is what I said. Bilal Muhammad won round one, 10-9. Bilal Muhammad won round two. 10-9. That means he's 10, uh, sorry, two points up. My point I was making was Lyman Good went out there and had a very, very impressive third round. Did very well, right? But at the end, Lyman Good took it, uh, sorry, Bilal took him down and took his back. And the round ended, if I'm not mistaken, with his back taken with Bilal trying to get a choke. I said that was important because that stopped the third round being a 10-8 for Bilal. And had that been, so for Lyman, had that been a 10-8, for Lyman Good, it would have been a draw. You see what I'm saying? That, that sounds like damn near perfect analysis from my perspective. From over here, I don't know, but I'm not a, a, a legend like Big John McCarthy. I, I mean, how did you watch it? Am I? Am I? Am I getting this right? I can confirm you said that exactly verbatim wow. as it went to commercial break. Now, so are you just, what we're are saying you, is Big John McCarthy and Josh Thompson are lying. They are putting false narratives out there. They're trying to strip down the UFC commentators just because you're with Bellator. Is this, I mean, is this even about you or is this sort of taking a shot at Dana White and the entire company? I mean, are we talking cease and desist? Are we talking lawsuits here? <laughs> Slanderous comments of such a egregious nature? I'm just saying. Or we can simply go to podcast war. They don't want a podcast. Well, I think they'd rather go the litigious route than a podcast. But I don't know. But, well, no, the only people getting litigious right now is me. I'm the one that's being besmirched. I'm the one that's being slandered. I'm the one that they're saying that we need to learn how to judge a fight. Big John, you need to learn how to watch a fight and listen to the fucking commentary. Because you're wrong, buddy. Respect you, like you, legend of the game. But uh, you're wrong on this one, Big John. So sit the fuck down. Um, <laughs> that's it. I love Michael. I think Michael's a great guy. I think he uh, was great for sport. He is absolutely a legend in our sport, especially. You, oh, come on, man! You can take you can take a look I, I like from, the, from the UK. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, There's not a lot of good athletes that come out of there. I get it. And so the fact that he was able to rise up from the ground in the UK oh, and come back. Man, and, there you I go get it. I understand. Again. He's a great athlete. <laughs> Yeah, you're throwing that word athlete around like yeah, it's a little oh, oh man no you're but so i enjoy I, I actually really do enjoy his uh enthusiasm his personality um i loved his banter throughout his career um you know and he had a lot of great fights that i actually really enjoyed watching you know i mean whatever i mean i legend man. Uh, he's a legend yeah. he is. Well, Michael, we do like you, though. We do. So no matter what you have said about before, uh, whatever it is, you know, I mean, I don't still don't know what the name of your podcast is, but it is what it is. I'm going to get into Bisbing's ass real quick. Bro, you're well, not Bisbing, making... Hold on. Bisbing says you cannot talk about UFC fights because you're a Bellator commentator. And Bro. They're just way better. So I just laughed. I, I loved his whole laughing. thing. I, I, I Look, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I, it's, it's probably hard for a lot of people to understand. I like the way he did it on his show. He did this whole, this whole uh, like banter about it all, and he said like, oh, you know, we tussled around. I, I trained with him like probably 15 years ago, at, right after I think got the Ultimate Fighter uh, at uh, Huntington P, Huntington Beach uh, Tiki Goshen's gym back oh. in the day. I trained with him a little bit there, and you know, taught him a couple little wrestling moves, to keep him keep his back off the fence kind of thing. <laughs> like give him a hard time, but uh, look whatever man he's entitled to say what he wants i'm not quite on the legend i don't think he's quite in the legend category but he's definitely up there where he definitely needs to be mentioned especially for country wise i've got him up there as far as you know the oh. biggest name to ever come out of his country i think in mma period um it's good man I, I like i like the banter back and forth i can i can take it i can take it. i like to dish it as you know that's why we're friends <laughs> you know and uh you take it very well so does podcast Dave. well sometimes but <laughs> you, you take it very well that's why we're so close but it's yeah, fun. You know what? It's, it's, it's really fun. Can't let, you can't let the stuff get to you. It's like, no. man, it's, it's all fun. Yeah. It's enjoyable stuff. I, I just laugh because um, he said, like, hey, I'm not going to even mention their podcast name because it's like that's a really small podcast. And I was thinking that's to myself. That's, that's because he's worried. Ooh. Well, I just started laughing because I was thinking to myself. He doesn't really have like, an MMA podcast. Isn't it an MMA podcast? What kind is of it? podcast is, yeah, it? It's, is it? It's a bit of everything. Oh, it's a bit of everything. Okay. I yeah, mean, but yeah. I looked at it. I was like, I was like, oh, wow. Like, I wonder how long they've been doing this. Like, what, is it a, a show? So I looked it up and I was like, oh, it's called like you, me and somebody or something like that. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, but he's been doing it. And look, I saw, what, how long has he been doing it? Believe like, you, me. Okay, whatever. You, me See, and somebody I else. And you. I guess he must have a partner or something on there. He's like trying to instigate I him. I no idea. Who yeah, he's trying to instigate him into like, hey, let's have a, let's have a podcast war. And, and I'm thinking to myself, well, we I look that. at, I looked it up and the date and then the day, podcast, Dave, talk to me. It's almost four years. It, it, four years. Okay. John, we've been doing ours for about 10 months, right? And I yep. think he's got about yes, 70,000 subscribers. We're at about 50,000. He doesn't have one video over 75,000 views. But yeah, we've got over what? 10. We've got over 10 that are like, we've got a couple that are actually in the 400,000 views. He's got a big goose egg of this many views. <laughs> so um, look, I mean, look, I mean, if you once you get into the 100, thousand view category Brisbane you can just go ahead and hit us up and you know what and I'll send you a gift a big okay a big clap and a nice thank you and uh hey maybe I'm hoping that maybe when you respond that'll get you that hundred thousand views okay so that's great I love it though <laughs> I actually do love it look uh Michael just want you to know I wasn't talking about you with the judging really I was really talking about Dom Cruz was the one that said Bilal Muhammad might win this round based upon what was happening he did say it it was ridiculous and that's just the way it is don't be nice to michael <laughs> is being... now we're gonna have dom cruise replying that's <laughs> oh, all right we're gonna have to talk about good. that next week that was a crazy comment look if you guys are listening to this show you guys need to go to um Bisbing's, view his stuff so maybe we can get him to a hundred thousand views on one of his videos he's like four years in 250 videos up and still isn't broke 75,000 I mean once he gets to where we're at on our level a little bit you know hey <laughs> that, that we're that we're kind of the A team bizzing if you haven't if that people out don't yet. realize this is called pushing buttons yes yes <laughs> So we're we're kind of the A team as you were referring to. We're we're kind of multiple videos yeah. over a couple hundred thousand views. But anyways, we can hey. talk, you, well, the, you know the best part is I love it. We can talk about all MMA. 
Yes. It doesn't have to be just one promotion because you see there are fighters outside of just one promotion. And those guys actually do fight like when Michael used to fight outside of that promotion. And so it's good to talk about all promotions. And it kind of says that you're all about the actual sport. So I kind of like that part too.